okay so actually there is a lot of points are there okay so actually uh, for regularly for people i'll tell about uh, what is a windows operating system and windows 10 so windows 10 certain features i will tell okay but it is look like very less numbers you will see depends upon people interest otherwise at least read it okay what are the windows 10 features are there editions are there okay windows 10 editions are there what is windows 10 home pro enterprise kind of stuff minimum requirement to install a windows 10 Okay. and other details so this is again uh, system configuration related the registries run commands services these are all there but people uh, are not showing okay. so first of all i will start with the topic uh, then we'll see based on the time and you guys First one is I'm going to start with a BSOD troubleshooting. Okay, BSOD. In the BSOD, there is a few more things will come up, but BSOD is not a correct one. Not at all a correct one to start. You must know few basic things like a safe mode. So I'll start with a safe mode and no compromise in it. Okay, at least to least, you must know these things. Guys, what is the safe mode? It is a minimal operating system. Minimal. What is a minimal operating system? What is a minimal operating system means? Our normal operating system means in Windows, if you see a normal operating system, you can do all the functionalities, games will work, display uh, is good, okay, wider the screen, background uh, display, like your background uh, desktop wallpaper is there, applications works, network works, okay. So like that, all things will work in a audio, video, everything works. in a normal mode but in a safe mode most of the device drivers do not work like a graphic cards your audio network those kind of stuff won't work like virus antiviruses like in applications won't work most of the background applications Your voice is not clear. Okay. Can you able to hear now? Yes, sir. Okay. Minimal operating system. Why we go to safe mode? To go to why we are going for a troubleshooting. For a troubleshooting. Next one is in safe mode, in safe mode, uh, the device drivers, most of the device drivers, applications, your virus, antivirus kind of things. Okay, so what work here? And uh, in a safe mode, we can uninstall applications and drivers, which we cannot uninstall in a normal mode. Normal mode, you can uninstall sometimes certain applications we cannot able to uninstall it we can delete a virus files are uh, unable to which we cannot able to uh, delete a files files which we cannot 
which we are unable to delete in full or uh, normal mode wire. Okay. So like that, which we cannot in uninstall in a, okay. I will give you a small scenario guys. Scenario is, for example, uh, this is an important one, not just uh, one example, it is a important thing. You know, for uh, protecting our system, we start installing antivirus. Right, you know, normally uh, some people buying nowadays laptop, the laptops comes with a Mac cafe. Laptops is came with a Mac cafe. So the Mac cafe is a trial version after 30 days or uh, 30 days. It is the expired. It is expired. So what to do? Mac cafe is expired. Now what to do? My ah, mind. Uh, okay. So what we do, either you should renew it or you have to remove it, right? So while some people, what they're doing, so what they will, they will install another antivirus, another kind of antivirus, already McAfee is there, right? And uh, people, they use another antivirus, antivirus kind of stuff, like a Nord 32 or maybe a Caspersky or maybe uh, uh, not an antivirus, e-scent, okay? So different uh, pond, uh, something, uh, network protection, endpoint protection, something they will install an antivirus. Already you have an antivirus and uh, you are installing another antivirus. It means in your system, now you have uh, two antiviruses. So what happened? Yes, what is the duty of antivirus? Whatever the process is running, whether you open a notepad or a paintbrush or maybe it is a big application or small application. Maybe you do right click. OK, you try to select some application. So whatsoever it is you are doing, it will scan. In your process, any virus content, armful content, misleading softwares are there, misleading process, coding is there, it will check it. So then that's why when you have an antivirus, generally system become a little slower. And you have now two antiviruses. What happened? Each antiviruses scan each other. Because when you open an application, then only the application related process will run. But antivirus process runs continuously. So you have now two antiviruses, both are scanning each other. Both are scanning each other. So what happened? Even if you want to move a mouse from this to this, it take half an hour or one hour time. So the system become very slow. What to do? You can't unable to uninstall antiviruses. What to do? Better to go to safe mode. Better to go to safe mode. Better to go to safe mode. So in the safe mode, anyway, the background uh, connecting services, startup services, this uh, other means only voice important to run an operating system. The that related services will run. Not all applications, devices, related services won't run in our safe mode. So these both antiviruses won't run because it is just an application it is not an operating system based application it is a, a, a an application which is running in your PC. so this your antivirus is not running now so what we will do it we'll go to safe mode we'll uninstall that application so which one is you don't required or maybe both you will first uninstall it. So this is already expired, uninstall it. 
okay so then you can start in the normal mode you can verify or both you will uninstall it if in case if that is important okay guys this is the main point of safe mode safe mode the back end uh, the drivers device drivers only safe mode is a minimal operating system it runs only the basic uh, part of operating system part only it will only run up to save it okay so we run only basic operating system part only not other applications or services related to the applications and hardware devices device drivers we don't use okay it is we are actually we will go to the safe mode for troubleshooting like uh, uninstalling an application which we cannot uninstall in a normal mode uninstalling antiviruses deleting virus affected files you know certain files you can't able to delete because of virus is affected okay so the the related so these are the just just sentences guys my explanation is important okay the virus files we can't able to delete because the virus related service running in a background okay in anti you know in a safe mode these background services also disabled so obviously we can able to delete that kind of applications okay guys this is the first part of safe mode then how to go to this safe mode how the safe mode is look like and how to go to a uh, safe mode okay so when you start your pc first of all how to go to safe mode so when you start your pc or restart your pc like at the time of our run time so press f8 button in general it is in microsoft it is f8 button so then you will get a safe mode options you will get a safe mode options <laughs> I have taken some screenshots here that's why I am searching okay here actually I have written correctly like a use what is safe mode minimal operating system use it for a uh, uh, troubleshooting so most of the devices a uh, drivers don't work here virus and antivirus don't work here no background applications small screen resolution it is the screen resolution is also minimal and what is the use what we can use it to we can we can um, so what i will do i will remove from here my bs would be how to resolve came okay so what is the use of this save mode guys we can delete uh, uh, files which we cannot am unable to delete in a normal mode we can uninstall an applications we can uninstall the drivers antiviruses we do system restoration also okay so sir you yeah, tell me tell me basically after uh, owning the safe mode after we kept the safe mode on in our system uh, we can uninstall any type of antivirus na? yeah we can uninstall generally any type of antivirus okay Actually, better we should go to the next screen. We will get our own space. Anyway, it is not a paper. We can use as per our requirements. Okay. 
So this is the uh, save mode. So when you press the um, button, so like this, F8, then it will show us an option. So you go to the save mode part. Okay, uh, of course, we got uh, some other arrangements also there. Okay, so look at here guys. So how to go to safe mode. First start your, your PC, press F8 button. Okay, press the F8 button. So then you will go to the safe mode screen like this. It will show this. Okay, like this. Safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt, like this. This screen it will show. You have to select either safe mode or safe mode with networking. And then you can do all your troubleshooting part. Next one is if you, uh, this is a little difficult if you feel your already system is running, like in, I'm in this mode, I can go to MS config. MS config. So I go to run MS config, go to boot option here, safe mode with network. Click apply, OK. So then it is asked for a restart. When you do restart, OK, when you do automatically, when you click on restart now, you will go to the safe mode. Once you are entering the safe mode, either you go to the safe mode like this or you go to the safe mode like this. OK. OK, so you will get a screen, normal screen background uh, uh, desktop uh, uh, background will be there some icons are there or maybe uh, other uh, features we can able to see easily but it is minimal screen not a 1366 into 768 it is 800 into 600 minimal screen you can able to see okay so we can go to the same mode from the advanced options also in a Windows 10, we are using, okay, we are using a Windows 10. So obviously uh, there is a option. So you can go from the advanced options also. This is the for that one. If you go from advanced options, so then uh, this is the screen you can get it. This is the screen you are getting. Okay, this is the screen you are getting. Okay, guys, this is the safe mod. Safe mod is used for a troubleshooting. In this one, so if you go to go from the advanced options, so I will show you how advanced options are there. Okay, so different ways to go to advanced options again. So, so to go to the safe mode, that's definitely. So, can you see this is a troubleshoot option? First of all, you should go to this your settings first go to settings don't do guys i'm showing uh, update and security and recovery advanced startup you click on restart now then it will take you to this screen this particular screen continue troubleshoot turn off your pc click on troubleshoot then you will get a um, um, you will get a you want to go to advanced option or a reset option like this this is troubleshoot option reset this pc or advanced options so first screen is this one continue troubleshoot turn off your pc you selected troubleshoot you will get this screen reset this pc advanced options okay 
in advanced options you are getting multiple type of things back to previous version system restoration startup repair command prompt system image recovery and startup settings uh, system restoration also possible okay sir Okay, uh, guys, um, you can also get this UEF5 firmware settings to go to the BIOS. Sometimes you will get a uninstall updates. But somewhere I want to go to this uh, startup settings, mostly startup settings. This is startup settings. Okay, yeah, this is the startup settings. So when you go to start startup settings, this part, this is a startup settings. In that one, you have to select enable safe mode. Enable safe mode. And you click restart safe mode, and you will get a safe mode options. Then which one? Yeah, startup settings. Enable safe mode means F4 or F5, you have to click it. Then you will go to the safe mode. Once you are entering into the safe mode, your screen shows like this. OK? So different type of troubleshootings things you can also do in a safe mode. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to show you. Okay, so one option is just press F8. Just it is a common for Windows operating system. When your system is booting, like you press the power button and press the F8 button, or a Shift plus F8, or a, a function plus F8. Uh, that kind of options are there. Depends upon uh, new laptops and stuff. Second one is your system is open already. Then you can go to MS config and uh, uh, the, if, you, if possible, then second one is if possible, you can go to MS config. Their boot option is there, safe mode, safe mode with networking, apply, restart. Okay, just click on apply, restart now. Apply, okay, restart now. Then you'll go to safe mode. So another option is you can go to advanced options type means so you go to um, first of all in Windows, uh, you go to Windows first settings, uh, update and uh, security, recovery, advanced options, restart now. System will restart. It will ask you troubleshoot uh, or uh, uh, troubleshoot exit uh, kind of options. You go to troubleshoot, you will get a reset uh, or a uh, advanced options you go to advanced options there you can able to find startup settings you can go to startup settings there you can find this four five six or belongs to safe mode select four or five means f4 or f5 then it will take you to the safe mode once you are entering into the safe mode it is screen is look like this one okay that's the point Guys, understand what is the use of safe mode? What is safe mode? And what is the use of safe mode? What is used for troubleshooting purpose only? So where we can do all uh, 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 system restorations.
No, no, this is the one, right? Yeah. This is yours. Guys, understand what is safe mode? System restoration point and uh, thing is system restoration. Okay, so when we do the system restoration, what is a system restoration boys? Guys, if you don't speak anything, I will close the class. I just ask three, four times, like, uh, do you understand? If you understand or not, no problem, just something respond. Yes, understand, sir. Okay, so otherwise, I think I'm disconnected. Okay, my application or my mic is disabled. That a lot of uh, things are going on. Uh, okay, so already I have started a class very late. Even I have a time. Sudden discussion, some changes are there. Okay, please cooperate. Guys, this is simple system restoration or system restoration point. I have uh, installed an operating system something like maybe uh, 10 days or one month or one year before. Okay, so for example, on December uh, last month, December, I installed an operating system and install an applications. Okay, I done all the settings. Application one, application two, and also done certain settings. Settings one, and there is uh, some data. Okay, so for example, on a December uh, 25th of December. Okay, 25th December, I created a, a system restoration point. Then I'm using my computer after that one someday. I install some application, application two, application three, and then some settings, and there is a data. So on a 5th of Jan, I taken another system restoration point. System restoration point. Okay, so um, now, so don't worry. So this is have taken a system restoration point and I install some application. I install some application. After installation of application, I got some problem. Okay, maybe because of that application, maybe because of some dependent kind of stuff, suddenly I my system got a problem. I don't want it. And I installed, I uninstalled application three. So this is one, two, three. Okay, four, this is five. Okay. So I installed application five and uninstalled application three. Now something my system got a problem, maybe because of that application related or drivers related, or maybe some settings related. I got a certain problem with my system. So what I have done, I restore my PC to the this restoration point because of up to here system is working fine. After this one, something is happened. System is not working. So what I do, I will try to restore my system to the this point. So what happened? Whatever I installed that will be gone. Whatever I uninstalled that will be restored 
what are the settings i change the settings are back with this settings only data won't be recover or don't be deleted data is not effective guys data won't be change only thing is what are the applications you installed after restoration point the installed application will be gone what are the application you uninstalled what are the drivers you updated or uh, applications are updated it will go back to the previous state it simply say what are the condition of your system before system restoration point before system restoration point hello yeah tell me so how uh, does computer knows uh, at this system restore point where you have to go Good. to other things okay so point is so whenever you restoring to this system restoration point what is the condition what is the before how it is before this restoration point it will be there what are the things you have done the changes will be gone okay so this will be back and this will gone but data won't be changes and there is a good question that is okay yeah so that good question is how system knows and of course i will show you this configuration also guys um, first of all i am going to this settings part system and scroll down about you know this one already right we are checking our uh, computer configuration part right in this one go to system protection you can see system protection okay and uh, you can see on protection is on i'm going to configure just click on configure when you turn on system protection guys it will store the data the relevant information in your hard disk only it means your system is crashed your hard disk is crashed nothing will be recover okay your system will be there you know max utilization 5% means 10 gb maximum you can utilize in your hard disk currently it is 6.74 gb is utilizing by system restoration point so that information will store in this one not entire system information not a data only the application related settings drivers recent changes only it will do and uh, for example you are using a computer for a very long time lot of system restoration points are there then uh, means lot of data is also there right so that's a better to delete your previous one and create a freshly or system actually automatically deletes sometimes i'll show you guys this is a create option is there no i want to create today is a 18th so i want to create a system restoration point uh, today now okay then i will give you a name like a my system restoration point on 18th jan 23 something name i given any name you can give on the current date and time the system restoration point will be created so i am not creating this time cancelling okay this is restoration for example i have a, on 5th jan a new a system restoration point is created now i got a problem i want to go back to this so what to do go to system restore option click on system restore option next i have a two dates one date is already created that is on 9th 1 2023 okay automatic restoration point which is created by system only i think i install some application really on 13th means 
five days back. What I installed, nothing I installed. Newly, I didn't install anything. Same thing, maybe something got updated, maybe because of that one. Okay, so because of installation, it is the installing time. It is created automatically. Both are created automatically. In generally, system will create automatically depends upon your system configuration. But I want to restore like this. So now I got a problem because of some installation of application or a, some issue. Okay. So this is a date which is before this date it is working fine. Now I'm getting an issue. So what I do, I try to restore it. Before going to restore it, scan for affected programs. Scan for a affected programs. Click on scan for affected programs. It is scanning. Meanwhile, you can see guys, before this date, before this date, this is the status bottom. Okay, after this, these things will happen. See the Brave browser, Microsoft Chrome, Office 365 apps, Edge browser, these are got updated. Okay, you can see both the references updated. Okay, these things will be deleted. Some Microsoft uh, Bluetooth drivers, HID class, printers, printer, and uh, something it is, uh, some role fix it, something is there, it got updated. See? These are the things will be deleted. If I do restoring to this particular point, these things will be deleted. This will be recovered. Okay. Names are same, but you can understand by numbers. 109, 108, older version. Okay, guys. So it's because of update. Okay. And maybe you can try ninth. If I restore it to the ninth one, not 13, 19, ninth one. So 9th January, if I try to restore it, these things will be deleted. These things will be come back. And that is uh, automatically created, right? So ninth one. So these applications will be removed and these applications and drivers, applications and drivers, updates, okay? will be recover and deleted after restoration point. After restore point will be deleted and before restoration point is a restored back. This will come, this will come. Very simple, <laughs> okay? You guys understand at least some point? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes. We can restore our system to a later restoration point. So we last application driver settings after restoration point. When you do restore, we lost the, we lose this restoration. We may get a uninstalled apps, okay? Settings drivers, which is before restoration point, okay? Which is happened, like I install some application that will be come back. To use the troubleshooting guys, like uh, you install applications or drivers, you done some changes, certain issues, uh, certain things it causing certain issues. These application drivers are settings are causing some issues. BSOD system is slow. So before restoration point condition is good, we'll go back to that condition. So you may get a system back. So that is the system restoration point. I think someone is trying to ask question. Please tell me now, Bala, I will tell. We can do the system restoration kind of stuff. Okay, we can do system restoration kind of stuff by going to Windows settings, update security, recovery option. Already I told this one, right? Okay, this is the line. Just uh, in a, uh, there also uh, safe mode, safe mode for safe mode also. I, I try to tell this one, right? So go to restart. First screen is this one. Continue, use a device, troubleshoot, turn off. Select the troubleshoot. Reset this PC, advanced option. Select advanced options. 
and then uh, here system restore option is there you want to do system restoration you can directly go to system restoration you want to do certain startup repair when you start a pc and uh, system is not starting properly at, at a starting booting related issue is there startup repair will automatically uh, uh, repair or you can go to this another advanced option means advanced options some depends upon your system options changes ufi framework setting for bios uninstall updates recently you got updated you got a problem you want to un un uninstall that update you can uh, uninstall that update also if you don't find this option you can do system restoration also may help you startup settings this startup settings also give you this screen this is the startup settings screen okay so this is the startup settings option okay guys so uh, sir we have we have to create a system for we have to create yeah. a system restore point very good uh, yeah we generally we have to create we can create a system restoration point for example currently your system is working fine no problem so you want to create a system restoration point you can create it. sometimes your system will create your system will create automatically a system restoration point or by installing certain application not all application guys but while you are installing some applications the application will create a, 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 a system restoration point for a safe purpose in generally in windows 10 and windows 8 so this application when you are installing any msa format applications application will create a system restoration point okay that is the thing mm. or otherwise you can create manually manually creating is also good and it automatically delete if in case in your desk in your hard disk in your c drive so you are given a specific reserved part like a 10 gb 20 gb you are giving reserved space for a system restoration point if it is more automatically to delete your old system restoration points okay Two more things. Actually, uh, I will tell about this kind of stuff, how to improve your system speed and uh, what is services, what is registry, um, few things. No problem, guys. Uh, we are going to BSOD now because a lot of people BSOD, if you know BSOD, you know already computer hardware uh, kind of stuff. So that is the people are there. Okay, so okay, so that's why it better to know blue screen of death. The problem with the blue screen of death, guys, in Windows 10, because why I said a problem. Because we earlier days, like when we use XP operating system, Windows 7 operating system, Windows 8 operating system. If you got a blue screen of death, it is really a death. That's why they put a name BSOD. Actually, error is blue screen error. Blue screen error, system error, these are the names. But why they put a BSOD uh, means blue screen of death. Why put a death word there? If you got BSOD, system is dead only one option is uninstall the operating system only uninstall when you got a bsod people don't choose any other troubleshooting options they directly format the system completely remove operating system device drivers everything install operating system again no other thinking <laughs> okay but we should understand what is bsod and i said problem with the bsod is actually nowadays not required that much not that much means first 50 percent of bsod in windows 10 windows 10 will resolve the issue you don't need to do anything next 50 percent still if it is not resolved then you have to do certain things that to system restoration but as you said if you create a system restoration point or maybe any 
system restoration point is available, recent system restoration point is available, and then you can choose that one. So this is the two options, I think. Okay. So uh, thing is okay. So this is what I'm trying to say, guys. When you got a BSOD, about a BSOD, important is what is BSOD. Second is why it is occurs. Why it is occurs. Why BSOD occurs. How to resolve it? How to resolve it? Okay. Earlier days it is a very big challenge. Nowadays still people are in that mind, so it is also a big challenge. Okay. I got uh, several times of BSOD. One time, one of my student is carefully listen to the class. That guy is very really good. Some guys are there. They really want to learn, guys. So he try. He troubleshooted my laptop. So I given my laptop. He troubleshooted. It's a very good way. Okay. So then, most of the time, it will be repair itself. Okay. So I don't do much. But thing is, we have to follow the sequence. BSOD, blue screen of death, also called as a stop error. Also called as a stop error. Okay, why BSOD? BSOD is a full system failure at a Windows kernel level due to a issue with a Windows drivers or a hardware. Sometimes applications also. Sometimes applications also. Already I explained, guys. Operating system, two parts. Operating system, two things. One is kernel part, which interacts with your hardware. Another one is shell part, which runs your application to provide environment to run your applications and user interface kind of stuff. Two parts. Okay, so at kernel level means what is there in the kernel level? Kernel level, which the program which interact with the hardware, device drivers also works at a kernel level only. Device drivers also at a kernel. So what is device drivers? What is device driver? It is a piece of program. Device drivers are nothing but a, a piece of program. It is also a program or a, a software. Would make understand which makes like a your operating system is not completely understand all type of hardware. For example, you put a printer, you put a printer, okay, and you connect a printer like this. This guy given T. I forget about the T. That is wasted. <laughs> okay. So my operating system is not understanding how to communicate with the printer. How to communicate with the printer. So what I have to do? I have to install the printer drivers. I have to install printer drivers in my system. So these drivers will make understanding of this operating system to how to communicate with the printer. Guys understand what is device drivers? Device drivers is a piece of software or a program. Okay. It helps operating system to understand and communicate with the hardware devices. Example, when you connect a printer, so your operating system may not understand how to communicate with the printer device. When you install a printer drivers in your operating system, so operating system now it is able to communicate with the printer. Okay. That is a device drivers. Same graphic drivers are there, audio drivers are there. Uh, NIC uh, drivers are there, means your network uh, related uh, adapters devices are there, uh, drivers are there. Bluetooth device drivers are there. Like a so different type of devices having 
may require device drivers to be installed. Sometimes built-in operating system generic drivers also communicates. So device drivers also works at a kernel level of operating system because it interacts with your hardware. So when you install a incompatible hardware or operating system uh, means the device drivers hardware. Um, OK, so whenever this certain conflicts will occur at a kernel level at a IRQ. So guys, one more MS info. 32. OK, can you see this is a hardware resources? I will show you IRQ numbers. Each device will be recognized by their IO memory addressing, IO addressing, input output addressing, their memory addressing, and IRQ interrupt request queuing. When I press the button in a keyboard, how system will understand there is an input from the keyboard. Okay. So how it will understand because of the keyboard has a IRQ number. IO address, memory address is there. Okay, these are the three things very important to communicate from processor, RAM, IO controller, and the devices. So if any conflict is occur at IRQ, IO addressing or memory addressing, so you, it may cause a BSOD. Okay. BSOD is not a app crash. It's not like a application is not working. It does not ca cause BSOD. Okay. Some applications may interact with your hardware, hardware drivers, hardware related things. So it may give any kind of uh, what we can say it may generate a, a conflict at IRQ, IO or a memory addressing, IO memory addressing. Any conflict is generated by some application or drivers or hardware. So then it may throw your BSOD. If browser caches, Windows running, continuously running, it may it is it's a very rare that app can cause the blue screen because they run at a higher level in the operating system at shell level applications runs okay so it not does not cause any of kernel level problems it does not mean like that guys it is very rare he use it certain applications certain applications it is interact with your hardware it is also um, mix with your hardware related. So sometimes it will cause us. Look at this. I, I got this problem. I said no, I got this uh, uh, problem. Um, um, so then one of our guys saw it. Okay. So guys, when I try to install VMware Workstation Pro 12 Pro, it is a 12 Pro. Okay. So that time it is introduced with this enhanced keyboard kind of stuff enhanced keyboard kind of stuff now it is clear enhanced keyboard drivers this is introduced in 12 pro okay in 11 it is not there 10 it is not there now it is 16 pro from 12 it is it is there so what i have done it is a new feature i am very good i like it so then i check it i don't know whatever it, what it is I checked it and I installed the application. OK, then what happened? This enhanced keyboard drivers, OK, is after rebooting my PC, it is start causing blue screen of death. OK, I have seen two, three times it is blue screen of death. Continuously it is coming. So I kept a laptop aside and the next day I went to my um, my institute. So that time I worked in a, an institute. OK, so I showed to the student and one guy I will do it. Then he done a system restoration. OK, so applications also may cause a blue screen of death, guys. Mainly application if it is runs at your kernel. 
So you have to understand that one also. Update hardware so driver. Sir, your B. Yeah, tell me. Hello. So, sir, your BSOD is uh, due to the VMware workstation. Yeah, due to the VMware workstation, mainly this check mark. Because of this check mark. Okay. If I, I checked it and uh, at next, 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 install it. Because of this check mark, I got an BS one. That time, I just am giving an example. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Sir, that how to me. solve? Sir, how to solve that? How to yes, solve that? Uh. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, um, so it can be drivers related, or maybe application, no. or hardware related. Are update related drivers update related which may generate a conflict at kernel level okay so it may cause a bsod okay and it also helps with a uh, windows viewer okay so this is a event viewer guys so you can go to event viewer if any system failure is occurs this event viewer is helpful i'm not going to explain any uh, depth of this thing but to know the any kernel level errors to understand if system is open. <laughs> OK, so this is the Windows log in event viewer. This is the Windows log applications, security, setup, system. These four are uh, things are there. OK, you can go to system. Most of the time your kernel related information you can find from the system. Setup security in the sense of and it is not displaying why because it will take time so it is in the progress okay so this is a windows lab okay you can also search in a windows lab why i am getting this bsod or what is the kernel level errors so what is the cause of this um, bsod guys again your system kernel level information kernel level related new hardware installation incompatible hardware or device drivers updates after application installations certain bios settings certain bios setting you know some old laptops not very old laptops they have a already enabled with a, they, they are disabled with a virtualization technology this also we got a paste up all in BIOS settings. Technology <laughs> BIOS related uh, kind of stuff. Why it is okay. Okay, so this is the thing. So what we done? So it is disabled in the BIOS. We enabled it to create a virtual machines in the same physical machine same physical laptop we want to create a virtual machines okay so what we done so we go to the bios settings we change it to disable to enable actually it won't give any problem but for certain laptops we will get a problem okay this bios setting also may cause sometimes because bios settings are related to hardware you change hardware related setting, maybe because of that one also may cause a blue screen of death. Okay, this is the world style blue screen of death, guys. Windows XP and Windows 7. This is Windows 10 type of BS body. Okay, so whenever you see a blue sir, screen I, of death, sir, I am yeah. facing blue, star, blue screen uh, restart. Yeah, you're right. OK, it, it will ask for you restart. Uh, no, it will restart automatically. Yes, okay. sir, it will automatically restart it. Yes, all the time. Okay. Good. Your PC can run into problem and needs to restart. We are just collecting some error info and then we will restart for you. 20% completed. In the bottom of this one, you can find why you are getting an error. OK. If the error message it can able we can able to see okay 
So it is not showing any error, but this is showing error. This is also this is a word style also is showing what is the stop error code. OK, this is the another information. OK, this is Windows 10 and this is the Walder system like XP, Windows Vista 7 time we are getting. Windows 8 and Windows 10 almost all look like this one only. OK, guys, so if you got a blue screen of that, then check the why it is occurred from the error code. OK, try to note down that error code or take a photo of that error code. Next one is what to do. The first step is when VSOD occurs. Generally, we are all using Windows 10, so don't worry. OK, so I'm not giving any Barossa kind of stuff, not like a promising kind of stuff. I'm talking about. Just understand the, the weighted steps, waiting steps are there. It's not troubleshooting steps, it is waiting steps are more. OK, what to do is next waiting is more. First one is make it 100% complete. There is a 20% leave like that. Wait 100% complete and it will restart. After restart. After restart. What will happen? After restart, if you don't see. The blue screen of death. If you don't see the blue screen of death again. Your system is started. Now it is working fine. You can able to work. So BSOD kind of stuff is resolved. OK, for example, guys, I said it is resolved, but not may not be resolved. Remember this point. You open some application. When you open some application. You got some blue screen of death. If you don't open, you are not getting that blue screen of death. So we can understand right where is the problem that application or certain driver somewhere you are touching it. So it is causing some issues. Otherwise it is not giving any issues. So it is not by defaultly it is not mixed. There is some issue you understand immediately. You will do the necessary action. OK, in generally you don't get any issue again, so problem is solved. But you got a blue BSOD again. Means. Continuous restarts again, you got a BSOD 100% complete and it will restart after restart again. You will get a BSOD. So you got a second BSOD itself. You can understand issue is not resolved. You have to do. Troubleshooting. Second time you got it. Troubleshooting first time don't do troubleshooting guys. Leave it like that. It will be resolved itself. If it is not resolved, if you are getting a BSOD, whatever it means. You have to do troubleshooting. Clearly read the blue screen of death error. Such about error. Knowing about why you are getting this error. First one. The second one is think. Do you install any newly installed uh, uh, hardware is there? Do you connect any hardware? Do you done any by your settings? OK, do you uh, um, install any drivers? Did you update any new drivers? OK, so you have to put yourself question and do revert it. Try to revert it. OK, so what to do? Better to remove the newly installed hardware. Better to remove the device drivers, updates and install applications may help you. Better to change your BIOS settings. What are the thing you have done last to get a BIOS settings? I told now I installed an application with a enhanced keyboard. OK, after that I am getting a BS body. After restart I got a BS body. So continuous BS bodies. So I know why it is happened. Then I can able to revert it. If you don't know what is happened, then you have to keep searching for it. Sometimes it is better to go to safe mode. So then in a safe mode, uh, it, you may try to resolve your issues. Or you can go to system restoration. So restore into the last. So then you may issue may be resolved. Okay. So what is the thing which is nothing is working? Re reinstall the operating system. Nothing is working. 
reinstall the operating system may work. Yes, now that is the very least option. That is earlier days, that is the first option. Now it is a very least options. This is how you can able to resolve your issues. What is the first one, guys? When you got a BSOD, just wait, note down the error and uh, wait. Let it restart. After restart, if you are getting BSOD, maybe issue is resolved. If you got a BSOD again, so already you know the why it is error, you can start, you can do troubleshooting. And think what you've done last, like uh, did you update your system? Did you install any new drivers or did you install any new hardware? Do you change any BIOS settings? Do you install any applications? Then you have to do revert it. Or you can go to safe mode and you can do this kind of uh, uninstallation of applications, drivers, updates. Okay, you can revert your uh, BIOS settings and then also you can better use system restoration also help to resolve your BS body. Okay. Guys understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is also good, guys. Services. Okay. And application troubleshooting. So we'll see. Otherwise, I will forward uh, this related video, which is I have taken for 14th batch. So tomorrow I will uh, try to explain because tomorrow is the last day of class. And uh, Friday, I think you have a person test because you guys have told me. <laughs> okay. So I will explain about uh, this server and services, peer to peer, server and client. Okay. Um, one second. Better to study this thing. Okay. So um, few, few points only guys, not very depth. So this much I may not be spent. Okay, so what is Active Directory, our work group domain? Um, DSCP, DNS, also better to read. I think I'll already forward one video to you. Okay, and uh, also I will try to complete this Outlook and uh, also I will tell about a uh, VPN. Otherwise, if I cannot able to complete it, I will share any recorded video that is which is already have taken, I will forward to you, okay? Guys, compulsory study, just go through all the notes, okay? Just take half an hour, one hour, go through all the notes, that is enough, okay? So highlight some points, yeah. keep reading. So I sent to 15th batch, see. Uh, <laughs> okay? And sir, what about the questions you sent? Yeah, I send a questions or not? Yes, sir. About its preparation. I uh, will try to forward two, three videos are there, guys. I will check it once in your history because your WhatsApp histories are very big histories. You like this this much? Even I forget what I have shared, what I have not shared also. Sir, you can go through the media. Uh, that much. Okay. So this is a compulsory, guys. Service desk. Okay. Service desk. Definitely questions are there. That is a guarantee questions. Okay. And also, this uh, channel is also help you to understand small small things. Yeah, I shared some questions. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And I will share, uh, uh, there is a two, three videos are there. That is also will share. So the name of the video is general. You can search it in my also general interview questions. Personal questions, technical questions, means how to answer that kind of stuff only. Okay, not much, but how to answer kind of stuff. Okay, sir. Okay, so this is a personal means people have last in the entire questions. We have a uh, personal guideline questions are there. No? 
like about yourself what is your project and all that time i got a lot of time to discuss now this is for a 11th and 12th batch that time i have discussed you can try and also we'll try to share the world 8th batch no day 8th batch also there so that's another Okay, eight batches also. We just you have to try to find this one. Okay, eight batch videos. Also. Okay, first to watch those things. Later once you are complete version, then we'll see. Concentrate on version first, guys. Next one is <laughs> technical. But today go through entire thing, entire 